Your mother comes to see you once in a while. She sees you from afar. She always asks and wants to know how you are doing. She suffers and cries for you, Maria de Los Angeles. I've seen her crying. Why hasn't she ever spoken to me? Why hasn't she come nearer to me if she's been closed by the convent? I hear you. But there are mysteries in your family no one has ever told me. All they told me was to love you, to take care of you, to watch over you, as if you were a real daughter to me. And we've all done our best in that. Especially Sister Margarita and I. Now it really is up to your blood family to explain what I do not know. Well, I'm of legal age now. Over 20 long years of being patient is more than enough. You told me it was possible that my mother would come tomorrow. Well, I want to see her. Face to face. No more excuses. Sister Teresa, if you're unable to tell me the truth about myself, I will go out and find it. And this is not a threat. It's just me exercising my rights. <laughs> Sister Teresa, you and Sister Margarita gave me all the love I needed. But you're not my mother! This was waiting to happen. Maria de Los Angeles is right. She can't live any longer without knowing the truth. Without knowing herself. Oh, my Lord. How can I keep this truth any longer? Even if it is for her own sake. And then... Sister Margarita! Oh, my goodness, Maria. You scared the living daylights out of me. And where do you think you're going? I imagine you're not strolling through the halls just going for a walk, all dressed up like going to a party, are you? Oh, you imagined exactly <laughs> right, beloved sister. I'm going with you into town today to help you with the shopping. I mean, you can't carry all that heavy stuff by yourself, can you? Yeah, I most certainly can carry it by myself, Maria. And furthermore, you know perfectly well that I don't like you calling me that. Yeah. And last but not least, in case you forgot, today is not my day to go shopping. So I suggest you change your clothes and go to the library like I asked you to several days ago oh, and organize the books. Sister Margarita. No, not another word. I beg you. I promise you, as soon as I get back, I'll arrange all the books in the world, Sister Margarita. But right now I need a breath of fresh air. Something new. Ah, smell it, smell it. <laughs> I want people and streets and towns and buildings and be happy and hear noise and bustle because right now I feel stifled, choking, choking, choking. I'm dying no, from being held back. Listen. I feel so frustrated, no. all locked up here with nowhere to go. Not even if you climb into the pulpit and recite the 49th Psalm from beginning to end, you won't convince me. So I'd better be going. God bless you. Oh no, please, 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 please. I promise you I'll be good. Just let me go out for a little. I'll be a saint. Really? There's no one around. It'll be our little secret, okay? This one. Yes. Listen. Wait for me just down there, okay? Okay. Okay. But don't let anyone see you, all right? Yes. <laughs> I won't thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Excuse me. Here he comes, the mayoral candidate, Mr. Vladimir Arivano! Hello. Hey there! Mr. Vladimir Arivano, why don't you get in the ring and fight with Mr. America? After all, Radamus did it! He did! Come on! Uh, who is this Mr. America? Don't listen. Uh, oh, oh. oh, watch out, Vladimir! Mr. America will beat you up! He's too much of a man for you! Oh, I'm going up there! Uh, <laughs> I'm going up there! Yes, I will fight him! You see? Yes! Let me through! Let me through there! <laughs> Here I come! That's it, let him up! I'll go up you come! You're being set up! Don't get up there, Vladimir! 
Hey, here is Vladimir Arvello. And your next mayor has no fear of anybody. Yay. Right, right. Get away. Hey, in you come, sir. Vladimir, Rodrigo. So here I am. Fight me. Uh, come here. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Drunken idiot making a fool of himself. Marie de Los Angeles! Hi! Sister, my father is here! No, 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 Get him out of here. He's, he's drunk. I'm drunk not he's drunk. Okay. Come here. Come here. Hey, hey. I'm not come drunk. On. He's totally drunk. We shouldn't have allowed him to come here today in this condition. Hey, come come here, you. What's the matter with you? The big man. Very brave in front of this poor defenseless man. <laughs> oh, now you take me on. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you think this has gone far enough? No, Orkidia, not enough. I'm gonna beat this jerk up. No! <clears throat> Let's get out of here, Bernardo. What do we do with Vladimir? Leave him to his own devices. Thank you. Now you. Uh, right. Yes, it's going to need a few stitches to close it. Let me see this. Yes, some there as well. Doesn't matter to me, nurse. The fight isn't over yet. Wait on, stitches. Let's go and finish our fight first. Just tell me when. Oh, oh no! Oh, you fought enough well, for today! Well, I'm getting Dr. Briswell here. He must be downtown. Everyone's gone nuts with this election. Look, I did a first aid course at the convent, if that could be useful to you. Yeah, me too! You two live in a convent? N not me, but Maria de Los Angeles does. Maria de Los Angeles? That's a very pretty name. Thank My you. My name's Jorge de la Rosa. Oh, well, he's a rose. A little flower, that sums him up, doesn't it? Overgrown weed. Being beaten up once isn't enough. What? Because if you want to continue, I'll be only too happy Rodrigo, to oblige you. No, no, no. You've yeah. already displayed Please. your fighting feathers enough for well, one day. Well, I say Mr. Aravallo needs well, some stitches staring, to his yeah. face. That's what he's here for. I'll go and get the doctor. Wait here while I go and get him, yeah? Okay. Oh. Hey, nurse. Don't forget the lipstick and the nail polish for little man, okay? <laughs> don't forget. <laughs> Are you going to continue this? No, I'd rather do other things with you. Huh. Well, it just might turn into a fight as well. What are you looking at? Finished staring? I can tell you your whole life just by looking in your eyes. Oh, Radames, don't try that with me. I've heard it all before. I know. You're trying to line up our daughter, Alba Griselda, with Rodrigo Arevalo. I've seen only too well how you operate. 
But what I'm not clear about is exactly why you're trying to arrange it. And speaking of which, here comes our little princess in question. Hi, Mom. Hi, God Dad. bless you. God bless you, too. I heard you mention Rodrigo Aravalo. Yeah. We're good friends. Anything the matter with that? Yes, Alba Griselda. That man is not right for you. And I'm not about to allow my daughter to have anything to do with him. Mama, I know Rodrigo well. He's charming, well-traveled, educated. He's full of sweet words and all that stuff. But nothing's happened between us. And nothing will happen between us either. Now, Mum, what's wrong with inviting him around for dinner? I made sure everything's ready, so don't worry. <sighs> oh, very good. You two have prepared everything behind my back. You knew I'd never agree to such a thing. Very good. Perfecto. So be it. Count me out. She's extremely upset. Ever since we arrived in Punta Lana two years ago, she's been like this. It must be the hot climate. Papa, you'd like me to marry Rodrigo, wouldn't you? Not if it's against your will. You're my darling daughter. And before I consider anything else, I want you to be happy. That being so, if you two decide to get together, I think it would be a very good marriage indeed. In every way. From benefiting both families economically and emotionally. Okiria Cordova Escalante is one of the richest women in this whole area. And Rodrigo is like her son. A real son. He's never known another mother. Then let's allow destiny to run its course. And I'll make sure it's the right one. Rodrigo will fall in love with me, Papa. You'll see. You'll see. <laughs> <laughs> what did you say your name was? I told you, Maria de Los Angeles. Now do it. Well, Maria de Los Angeles, it so happens that you wet your bed until you were 12. <laughs> I didn't. It's a lie. No? And what's more, you still wet your bed. What are you talking about, you liar? You do because you're the type of person who, when you laugh too much, or someone makes you laugh too much, you do a pee-pee. <laughs> it's true, Maria. Andrea, don't make fun of me. It's a joke. It's a joke. A joke. He's making fun of me and lying about me as well. No, I'm not lying. Uh-huh. Plus, I saw some other things as well, but I'll keep those to myself. But I saw them clearly. And you, Miss Andrea, would you like a reading too? No, thank you. I'm leaving. <laughs> I don't want to see this man for another second. I'll go too. We can bring the doctor here together. Well, tell me your secret. How could you tell that about her? From her eyes. Believe it or not. <laughs> yes, I do believe you. Where are you from? From the jungle. Far away? True jungles are far away from here. And what are you here to do? <laughs> to be delightfully surprised to find such beautiful women as you and Maria de Los Angeles. You should tell that to her. You upset her, you know. <laughs> I like women who are strong-willed. Then you two will fight like dogs and cats because she's strong-willed and very fiery. Well, I have to go now. I hope to see you again one day. Take care. I'm sure we'll meet again. And where did you learn to be such a charmer? In your jungle? You know something, Andrea, that in the deepest corners of the jungle, there's a hidden mysterious place where nature's spirits live. And all I ever had to do was go there and close my eyes. And you and Marie de Los Angeles would appear to me like two princesses. <laughs> you've always been in my memory. But you've never seen us before. Those are always the best memories. The ones that really come true. Not only are you Mr. America, you're a poet. <laughs> Take no notice. I'm an adventurer. I'll walk out with you. And will I be safe? Don't forget, my heart's the one that'll be in danger, and not yours. <laughs> Come on. Okay, dear. Uh, 
I beg you, forgive me. Uh, oh, please, Vladimir. Look at yourself in the mirror. See your reflection. And ask yourself if I could ever forgive you. <laughs> oh, Papa, look at you. Papa. What's happened to Orkidia? Why is he like this? It's alcohol. He's depressed. Come on, Dad. Let's take you to your room and put you to bed. Come on. Bernardo. Yes? You called? It's a nightmare. An obsession. A pain. A hatred, Annibal. Adamas Pasanta, my father. He gave me away when I was three. <laughs> he didn't give you away. He gave you to his best friend. Giacomo Palermo, you told me yourself. Giacomo was good to me, Annabelle. But it wasn't really for me. It was to make him rich. He never really had time for me. All he ever had time for was making himself a massive fortune. And while he was busy doing that, my little boy's young heart was making up imaginary playmates. I invented them to share the pain of my loneliness. Then my friends went away. And when I was 14, I angrily ran to the jungle. I was looking for something that could be mine, perhaps the death of my hurting child. I wanted to understand why I was abandoned. I forget how to live as a human being. Today I met two women. Andrea? and another lonely soul like me. Maria de Los Angeles. Where's that darn machete? My machete? God, where have you put my machete? Where is my machete? Where is it? Where? Uh, oh, 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 sorry. Oh, no. Oh, oh, dear. Oh, my dear niece, she'll give me a heart attack one day. Oh. That wasn't our intention. Ah, oh, yes. And that's what Albert Einstein said about the atomic bomb. And the Sultan as well. He suffers from a delicate heart. Oh. Are you talking about that lovely little dog out there? I gave him some chocolate and he's enjoying it. Ah, uh, yes. That's my dog. I think he wasn't really a very good investment. Well, but anyway, come in, my niece. Have a seat, please. So what brings you here? And this beautiful lady. I, I don't think I know you. I beg you to forgive my manners. I, I, I don't normally behave like this, no. It's a pleasure. My name is Evaristo Quinones. That's how I like to introduce myself to people. That is all. So may I present myself to you. Now take a seat. Please, please sit down here. <laughs> Thank yes. you. And nice to meet you. Ah. I'll introduce myself. I'm Maria de Los Angeles Hermoso. Does he know about me? What does he know? The thing is, Uncle, I told her a whole lot about you, and I made the mistake of telling her that you know everybody in this town, and she wants to know if... If, if... you know anybody with the last name of Hermoso. <laughs> well, uh, my, my memory isn't as good as it used to be. It's not working well, and besides... I have all the time in the world to wait for your memory. Maria de Los Angeles, you lost me in the square, and you stubbornly insisted on coming here. What on earth am I going to tell Sister Teresa? Oh. I, I do know someone with the last name Hermoso. 
That's the maiden name of the mother of Vladimir Rivalo. And the last name of Orkidia Cordova. Will you take me to meet that gentleman? No. We have to go straight back to the convent. Take me, yes or no? Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. I can't face that crossbreed, a snake evilly mated with a scorpion and producing Orchidia Cordova. No, never, never, and forever. Besides, I owe that creature money that I never paid her. I love life too much to lose it, especially not by visiting her. Very well, I'll go alone. I'll find the way. Oh, child, can't it wait for another day? I've waited too long. This is important to me. Excuse me. My niece, that young lady, is walking into the lion's den. Is that the same little girl who was dropped off at the convent 20 years ago, the day I dropped off that painting? The painting of the Virgin Mary for the convent, is it? Uncle, you're better off not knowing. Sometimes we're better off not knowing things that can make trouble. And I want you to totally forget that story. Please, forget it forever. I was told you wanted to see me. It will always be a pleasure for me to see you. And also for me. You're still a beautiful woman. We should leave here. To continue to seek answers for your father adds insult to injury. Go on, let's just keep traveling again. Besides, you're a rich man. You have a fortune in diamonds. Come on. It's been fun dressing up as Mr. America, right? <laughs> no one has doubted you so far, have they? All that money will be more useful to you than that hatred for your father. And my mother? I was told she was dead. I have dreams, Anibal. I see a woman bending down and crying over me, always saying goodbye, always telling me not to forget her. What if Okidio Cordoba Escalante is that woman? Because Giacomo Palermo told me there wasn't a woman in the world that Pasanto loved more than Okidio Cordoba. I came here today because there are many votes I can change in your favor. If you want, by tomorrow you can become the mayor of this town, Puntalana. Tomorrow I'll become mayor of this town in my own right. And without your extra votes, I don't need them. And since tomorrow I shall become the mayor of Puntalana, I want you to know that I will absolutely never give you permission to build your cement factory here. I'm not willing to let you damage things. To pollute the water or cut down the forests we need. I came here in the spirit of cooperation, Radamus, and you rejected. I want to remind you that I'm better at war than at peace. And I'm not going to let you win that darn election, so stuff it. That remains to be seen, my dear Orkidia. But you'd better pray to God that I don't indeed become the next mayor of Puntalana. Because if I do, Orchidia, I'll have you on your knees in front of me every single day. And I'm 
make you look at my hand. I swear to God. Yeah. And next time, don't look so beautiful. Because my heart is weak. Yeah! 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 But I came here looking for explanations. If I don't get them, I might as well go back to the jungle. In fact, that's the best mother I ever had. You talk about a magical world. Where I would like to go as well. Don't ever try it. If the jungle doesn't see you as one of its own, it'll try to destroy you. I know. But it's exactly the same here. In this world where you're trying to enter, it won't recognize you as one of its own. And it'll try to kill you. And what if that's what I want? To die. It would be sad in a man so young as you. <laughs> I'm three times your age, Annibal. <laughs> You're crazy. Crazy. You think I'm stupid? One day in the jungle is like three days for a normal man. I could have easily killed that guy, Rodrigo Annibal. And knowing that makes me feel even stronger. But it also makes me feel sadder. A life lived with such intensity offers no safety. It's an open wound. <laughs> Don't look at me like that. Don't be scared. <laughs> Maybe I am crazy. Maria de Los Angeles will be there for me. Forever, Anibal. That's for sure. Oh, Papa. Mm. Oh, Bernardo. You know something about medicine. Can you get me something for this headache? I've ordered some chicken consomme for you, Mr. Vladimir. That at least will help your stomach recover. You don't know when to stop, Papa. When you start drinking, you never stop till you're wrecked. No, no, no. Don't lecture me. Your father already feels bad enough. And speaking of bad enough, which you all were, I've made a decision. And I won't change my mind. You're not only a drunken idiot, you're incompetent to the point of dangerous. Orchidia, you're talking about my father. You came into my life when you were four years old. I'm the only mother you've ever known. I can say what I like to you, Rodrigo. And I've decided to remove your father as president of all the companies. You will take his place. I've been preparing you for years for this position. Your father makes mistakes every day. We know that. And they're just stupid mistakes they would be. Allowing him to remain in authority is an unnecessary hazard. I'd rather die than hang around and watch him destroy everything I've sacrificed myself for. Mama, come on, that would be so cruel. You'd turn him into a parasite, no? A man wandering around the house with no purpose in his life? Yes, well, I think Mr. Vladimir could very happily take over sugarcane production. He knows a great deal, a great deal about agricultural things. And I think we're all crossing our bridges too soon. Who decided Father won't be the next mayor of Punta Lana? Or have we forgotten about that? Or have we chosen another new mayor, Radamas Basanta? I'll get it. Good day. What? Marie de Los Angeles? Maria de Los Angeles? Do you know my husband? Well, 
to be honest, I, 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 I... Oh, come on, Mother. What kind of a question is that? Papa and Maria are no criminals? Look, Maria de Los Angeles and I study together at the convent. She's my best friend. Papa must have seen her I don't know how many times. The wonder is that you didn't. Yes, 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 that's it. That's Besides, it. I know her as well. We, uh, yeah, we met before at a prize-giving event. Oh, but please come in, Maria de Los Angeles. I am very surprised that my stepmother, normally so hospitable and gracious, hasn't already asked you into a humble abode. Please come in. I'm sorry. Please come <laughs> Thank in. Thank you. Can I get you anything? No, no, nothing. Thank you. I'm fine. I just called by because I... Uh, uh, my mother will be coming into town tomorrow. And I'm not sure if I'll be going with her, so I've brought this back to Andrea. I borrowed it. Mm. Well, that's nice. It's an emotional time when mother and daughter meet. Then she told me she wouldn't come back with me to the convent. And that she would go and visit Mr. Vladimir Aravalo. And you allowed that? You know Maria de Los Angeles. When she's made up her mind about something, she's impossible. So you permitted Maria de Los Angeles to disobey you? And thus you disobeyed me? Wait for me outside, Sister Margarita. We can discuss this matter when we have more time. And just one more thing. Let me know if you hear any news of her. It's entirely your responsibility. Yes, I understand that. We must do something. We can't allow Maria de Los Angeles to go anywhere near that woman. Orquidia Cordoba Escalante. She represents pure evil and everything that would put my daughter in danger. We have to do something about yes, it. Yes, I know, but calm down. Of course we'll do something, but you must calm down, Rosalinda. My mother? Margarita Hermoso? Hermoso? That's not a very common name. Mr. Vladimir's mother was also on a Mosso. Are you related? No, I don't think so. It's simply a coincidence, nothing more to it. Yes, a nice coincidence. I would, however, like to have a little chat about it, if it's okay with you, as this gentleman said Hermosa's an unusual name, and who knows, maybe after we check the family tree, we'll turn out to be related after all. Well, I wouldn't like that at all, Maria de Los Angeles. I wouldn't want you as my cousin. On the contrary, I'd like you as my girlfriend. Oh, come on, Rodrigo. Aren't you hurrying things? Let her Besides be. Besides that, I'd also <laughs> like, naturally, with my father's permission and also Orchidia, since you're out of the convent and your mother doesn't arrive until tomorrow, I'd like you to stay with us as our guest. Say yes. Say yes. Say yes. I'll have them put an extra bed in my room. Oh, come on, Maria de Los Angeles. Say yes. Oh, but I don't want to be in anybody's way. I, it's extra work. Ech. If you're a friend of my children, automatically you're welcome in this house. And besides, I can see you're very interested in talking to my husband. And I'm very interested in that coincidence myself. That you have the same last name and you're the first person I've ever met with it is so interesting. Well, if you'll excuse me, make yourself at home. Thank you. Bernardo, come with me. Excuse me. I don't know how happy I am that you're staying with us. <laughs> you can't imagine how much I have to tell you. <laughs> All right, then. Shall we have that talk? Yes, please. I'd really like that. Thank you. Come on. Follow me. I'll see you later. Ciao. Hey, brother. Ah, oh, he's in another world. Dreaming of what, I wonder? Yes, I am, Andrea. I'm in another world. I met an angel. Ah, oh, my dear brother, of course there are angels in this house. I live here. Yeah, I know you're also an angel. Weird sort of one, but an angel. <laughs> but Maria de Los Angeles delights me. From her smile down to her toes. Yes? yes? Well, you'd better be on the ball, because I can tell you that Mr. America is interested in her, too. You had to spoil my afternoon, Andrea. Why'd you have to mention that jerk, huh? He's not a jerk. I want it for myself. And I'll do you a favor by taking him away from Maria de Los Angeles. I do not like the idea of my sister being manhandled by that rodent. No, he's nice. Eh, original, intelligent, and handsome. 
And forgive me if I'm so abrupt about it. <sighs> but it's all I have. Have? For what? <sighs> Let me explain. Mr. Vladimir, as far as I know, you're the only person in town with the same name as me. I'm going to be totally honest. I don't know who I am. Nor do I know my father or my mother. I was raised in the convent. I was surrounded by love, loving nuns. But I was also surrounded by lies. I came to find you as the only clue I have. Could you have the same name as me, Hermoso? I'm Maria de Los Angeles Hermoso. Is this a coincidence? Or are you a relative of mine who can help me find out who my family are? And what? What have they told you at the convent? Mm. That my mother is a foreigner and comes to visit me. She sees me, but I never get to see her. And that she weeps because she loves me. I know nothing about my father. makes me feel worse because the mystery gets thicker. Who am I? And why are my parents in danger? Marie de Los Angeles, don't ask questions. Don't ask questions. You can rest assured that everything that's been done so far has been totally for your own good. For your own good. You're a woman now. Strong and healthy, educated, surrounded by love and affection and attention. I want you to think about this. If your parents did have any enemies, they also had friends. You are proof of that. Maria de Los Angeles has lived with things that threaten her. I... I ask you to have patience. Give me time, please. Just give me time. Until tomorrow. Mr. Vladimir, you have very sympathetic eyes. And you sound as if you want to tell the truth. Your words are gentle. I will wait. And not until tomorrow. Until you're ready. But I'll tell you the same thing I told Sister Teresa. That my only aim in life, and to which I'm totally committed, is to find my parents. All her things are here. There's no doubt. She hasn't left for good. She's definitely coming back. Her clothes are still here. And her prayer book. She's just gone away for a few hours. Oh, you have no idea of the harm that awful woman can inflict on my poor daughter. Of course we know the harm. If we didn't, we wouldn't have kept her here. Rosalinda, what's wrong? She's trembling like a leaf all over. It's as if she's in another world.
Come on, Rosalinda, please say something. Say something. Oh. What happened, for God's sake? I... I feel better now. All those memories, they eat up my poor soul. I sometimes think I'm going crazy. Paranoid, even. It feels so bad. Just the idea of that sinful woman. Anywhere near my baby. I can't bear to think no, of it. No, 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 no. Come on, worry. Come on, Rose. I will take you out. It'll be. Huh? Come on. Come, 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 come on now. Come on, Mary. go to the church. It'll be all right. Yes, come on this way. Calm down. Do you remember that Franciscan priest who came here? His name was Zenon Mercado. He was the one who caught malaria and was delirious for days. Yes, 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 yes. He was the priest who was devoted to doing good works. Hmm? Forgot he was a mere mortal and lived among the mosquitoes and many animals. On one occasion, I went out there to take him some medicines as a favor to another friend of mine. Remind me of the story. What was that man saying over and over again? Well, now, my memory isn't totally precise. <laughs> and it's been 20 years. But I do remember that he told me he found a newborn infant in the middle of nowhere. And he baptized her with the name of Maria, Maria de Los, de Los Angeles. Angeles. That's right, isn't it? <laughs> You're always right about everything, my dear Orchidia. You're right, and Rosie Vargas gave birth to a bastard girl 20 years ago, didn't she? Everybody says the mother and child died in the middle of nowhere. Both of them. It was by the grace of God. <laughs> I don't know, Bernardo. I... A little bell is going off in my head, warning me to wake up. It's ding-dinging in my brain. Maria de Los Angeles and her last name of Hermoso. I don't like questions with no answers. And much less do I like unpleasant surprises at this stage of my life. So let's keep our wits about us with Miss Maria de Los Angeles. <laughs> Your turn to play Bernardo. If I don't make my move, my queen is in danger. But all we get is one opportunity. So it's like everything in life, you only get one chance, but there's always that one chance. You see, Bernardo, we need to keep an eye on Maria de Los Angeles. It's a beautiful painting. I just like staring at it. I can't stop myself from looking at it. I don't know why. All I know is, it gives me so much peace. As if he's calling me. And his ring. It looks like the one I've got on my chain. Yes. It's the same one. But what does it all mean? It's a beautiful painting. Just like staring at it. I can't stop myself from looking at it. I don't know why. All I know is it gives me so much peace. As if he's calling me. ring. It looks
looks like the one I've got on my chain. Yes. Oh, yes. It's the same one. But what does it all mean? Well, this is the only convent in this town. So it must be the place. I must find her. I have to see her. Well? I've had this ring since I was a kid. It was a present from my mother. Maria de Los Angeles? Maria de Los Angeles? Hi, I've been looking for you all over the house. Yes, I was here because I... I was looking for you because we were invited to a very important party. No. No, I don't want to go. Oh, come on. Don't be a silly girl. Listen to me. I'll lend you one of my dresses. A good one. And you'll look beautiful, OK? Come on, don't be a bore. No, no, Andrea. I'm not in the mood. And besides, I don't want to be a bother. Ah, Maria de Los Angeles, please listen. Firstly, you're no bother at all. And secondly, it's no sin to get all dressed up for a party. Come on, girl. Don't be so stuffy. Come on. Let's go and get dolled up. Hey, All right, then. You win. Let's go and get ready. Just like climbing, whatever there's an opportunity, that's all there is to it. Well, Marie de Los Angeles, here I come. so heavy. Goodness. I'm not as young as I used to be. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Well! Oh, what? Who are you? Where are you from? Don't you know men aren't allowed in this convent? I'm not a man, sister. No? No, 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 no. I'm the Archangel Gabriel. And I've been sent here to help you. Archangel Sister, Gabriel. Bless you. Oh, Archangel. Excuse me. Uh, a moment. Uh, Archangel. Uh, Archangel. Uh, where did he go? I've lost my angel. Oh, no, 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 no. Moment everything is fine. Andrea and Rodrigo nicely fielded all the questions put forward by the dreaded Orchidia. So, it's only thanks to God that my kids already know Maria de Los Angeles. Rosalinda. Rosalinda, why don't you end this once and for all? Why don't you come out and tell Radames the truth? That she is your daughter. I'm sure Radames would take it well. He'd never allow Orchidia to lay a single finger on her. No, Vladimir. How can you suggest that? It gives me a headache just to think of the idea of it. How could I explain it to Radames? That the woman he's lived with for over 20 years, who shared his table, his bed, his life, and who has given him a daughter he adores, and she adores her too, has been living a lie for all these past years. A woman who has a dark and hidden past and is only the daughter of a fisherman who one day had her life ruined and ended up giving birth alone in the forest to a daughter who doesn't even know her father. What do you think he's going to think about hearing that? He's going to hate me for it and he'll never forgive me. Rodamus would never be able to forgive a wife who would bareface lie to him for so many years. In that case, we need to get Maria de los Angeles out of the country. What? And tomorrow wouldn't be soon enough. No, you can't do that to me, Vladimir. She's my daughter. I need her. I can't give her up like that. She can carry on staying here at the convent. Rosalinda, she can't stay at the convent for much longer. Rosalinda, if you really do love your daughter, then you have to do everything in your power to save her. It's your duty, and not to be preoccupied with your own feelings, you understand? What was no, no, that? No, 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 please believe me. I don't want to hurt you. But from now on, 
We can't do what you want. I promised Hector on his deathbed that I would watch over his daughter's life as if she were my own. I promised, and I'll deliver. From this moment on, I will do what's necessary. <gasps> Mr. Vladimir, here, this is for you. Yes. This is what we're going to do. And this will be the best thing for Maria de Los Angeles. Quiet! Will you just calm down a moment? Now, where were we? Well, this woman had an enormous knife as big as this. Very dangerous, and she was hiding it behind her back. Yes, and that's when I realized the woman belonged to a ferocious tribe of women who attacked me. <laughs> and how were you able to save yourself? That was easy. I took the same flying saucer I used to come here and see Maria de los Angeles. <laughs> oh, find him over here. I'm history. Oh, oh, I know he's here coming. somewhere. I saw him with my own two eyes. Well, I know he's an archangel. Here he is. Here. I can't see him. Ah, Hello, sisters! I'm sorry to commit a sin, Virgin Mary, but I'm going to hit you over the head with a stick if you don't leave these premises immediately. Okay, I'm going! Oh. Yeah, I'm but going I have to tell you something yeah. before I go. Yeah. Excuse me. Can he stay? Please allow me to tell you something before I go. What? Let me look at you. You're badly constipated. <gasps> oh, you know? One of you girls No, 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 no. I saw it in your eyes, sister. Yeah, he oh, knows. He, he does. does. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to let the dogs out, and I look forward oh, to you telling me what you see in there. Oh, she will. Okay? Let the dogs out. Oh, you better run away. All right, all right, I'm, I'm moving. Really but before I go, I want you to promise me something. What? Please tell Maria de Los Angeles that her boyfriend was here. Oh. Here. Ciao. Oh. Oh. I'll send you a bottle of our very best rum. It's delicious. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Have a seat, Rodrigo. Thank you. Uh, make yourself at home. Let's get to the point. Oh, my back hurts. Oh, good. Rodrigo, the motivation of inviting you here tonight, apart from the pleasure of having you in my house, is because I want you to be the secretary at the mayor's office. I mean, my second in command. Well. That's extremely generous. But what qualities do I have to deserve such an honor? Life is a wonderful gift. And I want to use it. I won't deny that there has been a certain amount of trouble in our families. I want to heal that. And I know your stepmother, Rokidia Cordoba Rescalante, is the sort of woman who can be very strong-willed in business. And having you as my right-hand man could help us smooth things. And as I see it, it could help negotiations in the future, and this would benefit both families very much in the long run, as well as now. Yes, I totally agree with you. But don't count your chickens before they've hatched, Radamus. My father's going to be mayor of Punta Lana. You can't offer me a position you don't have yet. Yes, well... It's really a shame. The way he behaved in the boxing ring the other day. I don't know if it helped him. It's not how I'd go about getting more votes, you know. My father had a bit too much.
can't be here. <gasps> what is it, Mum? <gasps> I'm here because I was invited. <gasps> I know it's not you. It's her. Her. No. <gasps> well, if it's not her, you must mean me. <gasps> Who are you? I'm the lady of the house. I... I... Well, I obviously I... upset you in some way. I'm sorry, I'll leave. Just a moment. <gasps> Nobody's going anywhere. These are my guests. I'm the man of the house and they will stay. No. No. Not here. I feel sick. What is it? What's wrong? What? Mama. Huh? Mama, what's the matter? Mama. What the hell is going on here? What's the matter, Mommy? Mommy. Mommy. Immenso. Immenso como el agua. Oh, Mommy, what is it? What's upset you so badly, Mommy? Why are you crying? That woman is something else. One of these days, she's going to give one of us a heart attack. I'll get it. It'll be all right, Mommy. It'll be. Hello. Hello. Come in. Good evening, Mr. Adamas. Oh, my goodness. What are you doing here, Mr. America? You asked me to come and fix your back. Uh, I asked to see a herbalist, as I recall, because I'm sick of doctors who don't know the first damn thing about making people healthy. And so, I had no idea you were a herbalist as well as Mr. America, huh? I'm very sorry. Please come in and make yourself Thank at you. home. Thank you very much. Hello. Mr. Basante. Look, Radamus, this isn't the type of person you need in your house. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> Because you and he had a bit of a spat in the ring? I had a fight with him as well, Rodrigo, and I don't bear a grudge. It's not a problem. Furthermore, he comes highly recommended as a brilliant herbalist. He knows all about natural medicine. You know medicine? Well, I'm not a doctor, but the Indians taught me a lot about healing. Then please, examine my mother. I don't know what's wrong with her. She's trembling all over. Okay. Excuse me. It's all right, madam. Orchidia, I heard you wanted to see me, so here I am. <laughs> Thank you for coming so promptly. Orchidia Cordova Escalante deserves no less. Have a seat. Have a seat. What can I do for your orchidia? Pedro, I know you're still the mayor of this town right now. At least until tomorrow, when you hand over your office to the newly elected mayor. That's right. Until tomorrow, I'm the mayor of this town. Precisely because you hold the reins of power is why I am here. Tomorrow, there'll be the official vote counting right here in your office, and you will supervise the operation. Well, orchidia, that's quite true. But under very strict supervision, you do know that. But I also know that if you want to, you can do what I want. She's agitated. Her heart's thumping. She is very sick. That's evident. I mean, you don't have to be a super-duper herbalist to establish that. No. I'm all right. <sighs> I'm not at all sick. I just feel low. The problem, the only problem, is that she is... She's my daughter. Tomorrow morning early, I'll have the votes delivered to you here with all the necessary official seals, of course. And these votes will be for a win for my husband. You'll change them for the votes that you have in your office. And my husband will win the election. And through your work and mine, Pedro, my husband will become the next mayor of Punta Lana. That clear to you? <laughs> Incredibly.
Here's five million bolivars. And tomorrow, after you've announced that my husband will be the next mayor of this town, you receive the next five million. Do you agree to this deal? Can we shake hands on it being successful? <laughs> I do agree with the deal. And yes, let's make it successful. But it's not for the money that I do this deal, my beautiful. I want something else. <laughs> My daughter, my little daughter, <laughs> my lost daughter, my darling little baby. It's her, it's my daughter. My baby is you. <laughs> You're just too beautiful, Orchidia. You can't blame a man for being fascinated by your charms. I understand, I understand. I do understand. And you'll see how everything is possible. <laughs> but first, you have to come through with your part of the deal we agreed on. You change the official votes for the ones I'm going to give you that are in favor of my husband. And when you proclaim Vladimir Arevalo as mayor of this town, I'll do my part. And I'm yours. It'll be an unforgettable moment. That is right. I'm a real businesswoman. I know about giving and taking in life. You know that in the olden days, such giving and taking as we're talking about here was called maneuvering. You want me, and I want my husband to be the mayor. That's how it'll be. A fair negotiation. I love your modern and understanding approach to my ideas. We'll talk about it again tomorrow. But remember, you declare my husband the mayor of this town. Well, I wait breathlessly for tomorrow. Good day to you. I want you to hold her. Come on, embrace her. She's your sister. Your sister. Come. Yeah. Yeah. Can you explain yes. all this, Rosalinda? Yes. Tell me what on earth is going on here. Uh, what uh, is happening? Surely you understand, Radamus. You already know that Rosalinda has emotional problems. No, I don't know anything. Uh, all I know is that I want an explanation for the events that I see being played out in front of me. Well, well, Why is she holding uh, on to this young woman the first time she ever meets her? Why is she crying? And why is she saying she's her daughter? Well, well because, because she is. Because she's always like this when she turns Radamus. She goes into crisis when she's remembering her daughter, Lena, the baby who died at birth. Yes, Remember? Yes, you yes, know I that? Do. The memory yes. always turns yes. her brain inside out. What? That's right. No, you I... know it's not the first no, time she's know. behaved no, in such an unsettling way about the death of her child. Jorge de la Rosa, tell me, what did you see when you looked into my wife's eyes? My daughter. Oh. She's very ill, Radamas. She is. She Really very she is. ill. You know it isn't the first time she's behaved strangely about this dead child. It's true. It's not the first time something strange seems to have taken over my wife. Do me a favor. Ahelia, take her to her room and give her a sedative. Off yes, Mr. Radamas. Come on, Rosalinda. Mm -hmm. Let's take a rest. Come on. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry, everyone. Well, enjoy yourselves. One minute. I'm very sorry about your daughter. 
I got all carried away with emotion and believed you when you said I was your baby. You lost your daughter, and I seek my mother. I really have compassion for you about this. Our pain is similar. Yes. Okay, all right, now enough all of this. That's enough, Waterworks. What I want to do is invite Jorge to join us all for a friendly, relaxed supper. Mm. Ahelia, mm. you take my wife to her room, give her that sedative, and have a nice, oh, calm yes. time together. Yes. Go on, off you go. That's it. Dad, I'm gonna go with okay, them. I'll be back. I think I'll go, Mr. Adam. Oh, sir. Call me another time about your back pain, all right? No, young man, you're staying. I want you to have dinner with us here. I would like to talk to you and have you explain how it is you can look into eyes and see things and diagnose all sorts of ailments. You willing? So come on in and join us. After you. Thank you. Young lady. That gave you a scare, didn't it? Uh, you lost your mother? All my life I sought her. That's a long time, I understand. Yes. Yes. <laughs> you can tell me. Perhaps I can find her. Because I'd like to help you. Okay. Yes, thank you. Come on. He's sick. Ugh. What's wrong? Disgusting man. What happened? That man Pedro has a sick mind. Don't tell me the old ledge made a pass at you. Ugh. Of course he did. That scumbag kissed me on the lips. What? Uh, he did what? You should have killed the monster right there and then. He kissed me, and that's when I realized I'm stronger than any other woman would have vomited all over him and run away. Why did you not kill him, Orchidia? It gets worse. He asked me to go to bed with him for God's sake. Well, the disgusting dog vomit Pedro Schifante. He's always going to church and declaring himself an honest politician. And in fact, he's got the morals of a filthy sewer rat. No, not that high. Hey, how dare he lay his hands on you? Leave it up to me. I have ways of getting things done. I guarantee that he'll show up murdered. Now get me the soap. I have to clean my mouth out. I can't stand that terrible taste for a second longer. It makes me so sick. Yeah. Let me kill that rat for you, Orchidia. Just give me the word, and we'll squeeze and wring his neck slowly. And I won't stop till his face turns blue and his tongue hangs out. Just say. Don't worry, Bernardo. Don't worry. When he's done what I've asked him to do, after he's kept his word, when my husband, Vladimir Arevalo, is in, and he has been elected mayor of this town, Punta Lana, that vermin, that vermin will regret that he has ever been born at all. I promise you. Orchidia Cordova's Grande swears. She swears. Immenso, immenso como el agua del mar. Immenso, immenso como el agua del mar. It's true, Mr. Oramis. When he looks into someone's eyes with the magnifying glass, he can even know what they'll die of. Can he really? Andrea, that's a lie. No, it's true. Listen, yeah, he said that when Maria de los Angeles was... Andrea, enough. Oh, no, no, no. Tell me. My curiosity is killing me. I can't bear it. Just tell me, will you? Let's talk about something else. She doesn't want me to discuss the fact that she wet the bed until she was 12. I don't want to talk about it because it embarrasses her. I'm going to kill him. Oh, no, 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 Jorge, tell me more. Come on, come on, come on. Please, please, can we not do this? He's a liar and I'm fraud. You shouldn't take any notice of it. <laughs> Lilia, please, uh, serve the soup now, then the salad, and after that, bring the pork cutlet Hawaiian. <laughs> thank you. And uh, I have to serve you up the food. Please come and join us for supper, would you? Yes, thank you. To me, this whole looking in the eye thing is quite ridiculous. It's rubbish. You're wrong, Rodrigo. I happen to know a doctor in Caracas who, by looking into the iris of the patient, can diagnose what the problem is. It's so, if a proper medical doctor 
has a training in this subject. Seriously scientific, its name is iridology. It's true. Well, by my standards, it's quackery. Rodrigo, why don't you let Jorge check out your eyes? Mm? Mm. Mm. But why me? Well, obviously, you know about illnesses, so you'll be able to tell if he's getting it right or not. Oh, wow, that sounds interesting, Rodrigo, doesn't it? Well, why don't you try it? Or are you scared? No, Mr. Rodamis, I'm not scared. Okay, then. Let's do a round of tricks. That way everyone will know just what a charlatan you really are. Excuse me. Go ahead. I'm sure he's going to come up with some stupidity. That's his style. Well? This is too much for me, Ahelia. Can you imagine what it was like to see my darling daughter there in front of Radames, in this house? <laughs> the danger could so easily have got out into the open. Oh, yes. She is your daughter. It's a good thing I remembered all about your dead baby, because if I hadn't, I'd dread to think what would have happened. It would have been a disaster. My Maria de Los Angeles. So many years of caring for her and protecting her. Only to have her run away, leave the convent and come here with the kids of the woman herself, Orchidia Cordoba Escalante, the that person I evil. hate most in the entire universe and beyond. Shh. She is the devil incarnate. But we must get back to the subject of your daughter. Don't you think it's time to tell Mr. Adamas the truth here? No! Certainly not. No. It's not the time to even touch upon my daughter's existence. Nor about my connection to that family either. What's important is to find a way to, to protect and shelter my daughter, Maria de Los Angeles, from that harridan. You know very well, Achelia, that she's a woman whose presence signifies agony, terror, and death. Okay, Rodrigo. You completed a long course of treatment of drugs. You suffered from brain damage and convulsions. You're better now, but you should take care not to get a fever. Oh my goodness, but yes, that's right. I can see other important conditions as well. But the most dangerous is that you could suffer from a serious kidney problem. Well, this is my opinion. Go fly a kite. Yes? Because if you think I'll change my life based on what you say, then you're so wrong. Can we change the subject, please? This man just wants to be the centre of attention and have everyone listen to him. <sighs> well, he's such a dreamboat. I'm hot. I propose a toast here. A toast to my father's victory tomorrow. When he's mayor of Puntalana. Well, I'll drink to that toast. Your health. <clears throat> health, yeah, your health. health. Hello. <clears throat> well, in the event that that actually were to happen, though I'm sure my father will be voted mayor of Puntalana, I accept the position you offer me, Radamis, as you said to me, your right-hand man. And I tell you, the second we're in, the first thing, I'll clear this town of wasters and the homeless. Hmm. Does that mean you intend to lock yourself up? Right, Radamus. Either you get this man to leave this gathering, or I should be forced to go. You're free to go. Good night. Papa, please. Rodrigo. Listen to me, young man. <clears throat> I don't accept this kind of behavior from anyone, and certainly not in my own house. I'm not prepared to have you issue ultimatums to me, or to threaten me. I do not accept threats or tantrums. Good night, Mr. Rodrigo. Good night. Rodrigo, come back! Andrea, wait for me, I'm coming. Thank you for everything. You're most welcome. Come again sometime. Are you happy now? Did you get what you wanted? I assure you, I never met anyone less likable in my life. Listen, Maria, when you calm down, you're going to realize you were wrong about this. 
I wasn't the one with bad manners. It wasn't me. I wasn't all high and mighty. Who does he think he is questioning my integrity like that in front of everybody, huh? You're a beautiful woman and intelligent. So use your head. If you have any sense of justice, you'll forget you attacked me. That will be difficult. Even more difficult than you winning a charm contest. Good night. Good night. <sighs> Miss Alba, I'm so sorry I didn't mean to spoil your dinner party. It wasn't my intention. No, it wasn't your fault. Hoy, you came into our town as a man disguised. A mystery man. Mr. America. Seeking what? Seeking my father. And? Did you find him? I did. Then why aren't you with him? Because I think he's a jerk. If and when I realize otherwise, then I will be with him. The truth is that Radamus Basante is a very singular man. He's not two-faced at all. He's very direct. Be careful, Jorge. I'll continue to my goal. I need to know who he is. How he is. How his people work. I've been alone for years. I never needed anyone. And now I want to make really sure I want to have a father. And besides, I need to make sure I want to get close to that man. So tell me, who else was at the dinner? A very strange woman. My father's wife. Rosalinda Villafane Basanta, I think. She suddenly had an emotional crisis. I had to check her eyes. What did you see? What was wrong with her? She's quite insane. <laughs> She's going to end up completely crazy. That's terrible. And you never make mistakes there. And Maria de Los Angeles, the jewel in the crown. A princess of princesses. <laughs> now you're getting into dangerous waters. <laughs> really, if you could just see your stupid face when you speak. Maria de Los Angeles. <laughs> if you saw it yourself, you'd run away. <laughs> Don't give me that. You have a stupid face all the time, and you're not in love. Ah, you're taking revenge. <laughs> you really have quite a way with words, you know, Anibal. And in fact, you are telling the truth. I am in love with that girl. She's so beautiful. Her complexion. Her eyes as well. It's nature's proof. Proof that God exists. And it's true. I stared at her all through dinner. Does she feel the same about you? No, not at all. She was staring at that other guy. Which one? Radamus Pazanta? <laughs> Are you crazy, Radamus Pazanta? Rodrigo Aravalo. Ah, the stepson of Orchidia Cordoba Escalante. Exactly so. Son of Vladimir Aravalo. According to what I've heard, he's a good man. Not like his son. He's a complete idiot. That is little boy who doesn't even know what time it is. This is just great, Andrea. My stomach's killing me. Where's the first aid box, for God's sake? Just a minute. It's not my fault. Andrea, I had a terrible evening at the Basante's house. Well, he had no right to get into that situation in the first place, especially not in front of all his friends. I'm sure Mum would have said the same to you. You call that thing a friend, Andrea? Huh? That lowlife, I'm so spiritual, gigolo? You had to insult him about his background. It seems as if I have a brother who should be working for the secret police. No. You have a brother who doesn't let fools make fools of him, or put up with saviors, or people whose last name is De La Rosa. I can't stand it. Ah. What's that? Acidity? Physical as well? Oh, great. 
You've got this diagnosing ability too. Oh yes, she's dumb, but she can diagnose my state of health. Just hold your horses, Andrea. Tomorrow morning, first thing, I'll go to town and buy you your own magnifying glass, okay? Ah, now we get to the root of this little acid problem now. It's envy about love. Yes, it's envy about love. <laughs> And since you don't have anything in particular to attract Maria de los Angeles with, no way to make yourself the centre of attention, you get all nasty towards Jorge de la Rosa. Ah, Rodrigo, but Jorge is very fascinating. Oh, now I get it. Charlotte and doctors are really very interesting. God forbid, Andrea. Don't tell me that you're that foolish. No, Rodrigo, it isn't like that. Because with all that commotion, Maria de los Angeles was paying more attention to him than to you. So was the maid. She was staring at him in adoration. She was quite mesmerized. Like a prisoner staring at the sky. My goodness me, yes. My alert little sister doesn't miss a single detail. You're not trying to tell me, Andrea, that you actually like that slimy quack. As much as you're dying for Maria de los Angeles. Annibal, I don't like fights. I think the best fight is the fight you avoid, not win. But sometimes, my hot temper just overtakes me and I'm in the middle of one. I get all revved up. If Rodrigo Arvalo bugs you, well, don't take it. I do believe the best fight is the one you win. Get the little stinker and make him eat dirt, I would. Anyway, what have you got in your hand there? Simon. A friend. A master. Huh? Ah. It's beautiful. Why don't you give it to your friend, Maria de los Angeles? <laughs> oh, come on, Anibal. For Miss Maria de los Angeles, I have other things. Things fit for a queen. Because she is a queen. A real queen. Yeah? She belongs to the royal family. Mm hmm? Nothing less than that. I am Rodrigo, this macho man around here. Who is this man with long hair talking about alternative healing, iridology, the jungle nature? What sort of fairy is this in our midst? Is it possible that such a man could take away the woman I've decided I'm having? Andrea, Andrea! Oh, yes. You're crazy about Maria de los Angeles, I know. But with that serious face and ultra-stuffy attitude and pompous manner, you're going to be left out in the outfield, my sweet brother. Listen, Rodrigo, women like to be badly treated and plagued. They like to be angered and ignored. It's easy. They're red-blooded and passionate and like to be spoiled rotten. They also like kissing. Mm -hmm. And then they like to do it again. Mm -hmm. And then see what happens. And you've lost the race before you've even got to the start line. I want you to be careful because if you lose this race, please know I'm in trouble as well. Because Jorge de la Rosa may end up falling in love with Maria de los Angeles. Well, there's no chance of that at all. If you like, we can bet on it, sweet sister of mine. Mm, well, I don't want to very much. But fine. I'll bet. I'll bet. Mm, I bet a hug and a kiss. <laughs> Let me ask you. That outfield. How far away from me tonight will my girlfriend sleep? Hundreds of meters outfield but very close to a butcher's knife put there to protect her from a would-be suitor who might creep up on her in the night and seduce her away from a man who wants to love her. <laughs> Andrea, you don't give a guy a chance, do you? Right. This has to be a clean game, Rodrigo. Besides, Maria de los Angeles is my best friend, and I won't do anything against her, even for you. Now, you know, it's a bet, but there are rules. You have to approach her like a real gentleman and win her with honor and integrity, right? I promise you. It's a deal. Sometimes you're so naive about life. Not every fight can be won cleanly. Especially when it's over a woman like Maria de los Angeles. Maria de los Angeles will be mine.